Oh, hey. hey, I was uh, starting to build my curved roof, and you know, I was starting to take shape, and I felt like it was starting to become a, a boat instead of a, a roof, and I really think I like this canoe, but uh, let me just get, get started by showing you what this piece is going to be on the tiny house. Here we are at the tiny house. We're at the section of the house where it starts to curve. And let me, let me just give you a visual. It's always good to have visuals because sometimes when you talk about stuff, people say, what are you talking about? All right now, in this section of the tiny house, let me just check. I eyeballed it. I cut it with my skill saw. That's pretty good to cut a long curve like that with a skill saw. You know. I just have to mention that takes skills. Anyways, right here, I'm gonna hold it up. Yeah, that looks about right. So just imagine a couple more four feet up above. This thing is where it's gonna sit, and that's gonna be where the loft is. All right, over and out. Hey, wait, it's Robert Johnson here, and I just want to go over with you a couple of things that uh, about the curved rafters and the barreling roof. Um, this is the last template that I did for uh, the curved rafters, and it's starting to take shape. And as I was cutting it, it really looked like a skeleton, and the wood spoke to me, and it showed me that it was a salmon. So let me just show you. I was trying to come up with a theme and I really want to have uh, uh, fish scales for the cedar roofing. And this would be the cutout for the rafter and you can kind of see how it curves. We talk about that with the curving. And there was a knot here and it just had an eye. So I thought that was really cool. So I just want to kind of show you what we want to do on the elevation drawing here. So we have on the gable section here, this is where all the rafters are, and this is the intersecting part, and this is a gable. So right here, it, it kind of has a shape of a fish. So what we want to do is we want to put, um, do a bit of a carving. I just want to just show you here how we got the curves. So on the barreling part here, what how to get that if you ever want to create a curve what I did was I figured that I wanted to keep as much headroom as possible in that upper area so I didn't want to come too far down so I ordered a 14 inch LVL which went from the top of the ridge down and could just imagine it going straight across 14 inches what I did was I divided that in half and then divided that half in half and then that half and half, and that half and half and half and half, until I was close, like every four inches, I had a bunch of half marks from here to here. And what I did was, or what you can do to get that curve, if you think about it, this is a massive circle that goes around, around like this. You can figure out what your diameter and figure out all those little triangles, but that's... Um, the best thing to do is just actually lay, out, lay it out on your material. And what I did was eat with each little divided um, measurement there. I measured up at the, at the middle of the half. And I went up three inches. And then I bent a piece of wood from there to there. And then I drew an arc. And then I measured up between each little um, divided line. And I matched it up to the other side so that it... It mirrors the exact image. And then I just cut that out with the circular saw. Yeah, so it's, it, it was a lot of fun.
cutting all these rafters and as you can see there's many of them and I decided to do it out of plywood um, and the best way to do that is rather than using a 2 by 12 to get that curve I used plywood and it was literally half the cost of what 2 by 12 was is and it's lighter and um, the strength is stronger and there you go um, there we have it and uh, have a great day. Buruch.